Hello everyone. Today we are going to know about a new module and that is Marketplace Indonesian Shipping for Magento. Now this particular shipping method is an add-on for Webquill Magento Marketplace and this particular shipping module provides shipping services in Indonesia country. So this particular shipping method provides various shipping services like DIKI, POS, JNE to the customer for shipping the products in Indonesia. So let's come to the installation process. After you have downloaded the module from our store, you have to unzip it and then you will be getting the app folder. Just upload the app folder into your Magento directory and then you're done with the installation. For the proper guidance about the installation, you can also refer the user guide. So now let's come to the configuration of this module. Now this is my admin panel. So just follow the path, system configuration. And then we will go to shipping methods. So now you can see Webcool MP Indonesian shipping. So you have to enable it. And then you can enter the API URL as starter or basic. So I have entered starter URL. Then I will enter my API key. Then I will enter my title. I will enter the method name and the city origin. See, after you have entered the API URL, then automatically the API will fetch the city origin from this drop down. So you just have to enter the URL and API key and automatically the system will fetch the city origin. So from here you can select what shipping services you want to provide to your customer. So I will select all three. And this is add or subtract shipping price by like if the original API generated shipping cost is 10. So if you want, you can add additional 10 or if you want, you can reduce some value like you can subtract 10 from the original. So you just have to enter the symbol minus or plus and then you have to enter the value. So and these are the services which we don't want to display on the checkout page. So this is all about this configuration of the module and for getting the API URL and API key, you can just go to this website and you have to register and then you will get the API keys. So now let's move to the front end. Now this is my seller panel. So I will be going to manage shipping. And you will be getting vendor shipping management. So here you have to enter your information and it will be displayed on the invoice and packing slip. So after entering this detail, you just have to click on save information and then the information will be saved. So now let's move and see how you can order a product and how you can use the shipping method. So I will just go to my product list. And for example, I will select this product. So I will just select the sofa type and then I will add this product into the cart. So you can see that the sofa by John Doe has been added into the cart. So now I will proceed to checkout. Now from here, we have to select the billing address and then if you want, you can ship to this address or if you want, you can ship to different address. So I will enter a new address. So I will just enter the pin code first. Then I will select the city, sorry, the state. And then I will select the city. And then I will click on continue. So now you can see Webcool MP Indonesian shipping. So you can see various shipping services like TIKI, JME, POS. So you can select any one of them according to your requirement and then you can click on the continue button.
from here you have to select the payment information like which payment gateway you have to use so i have selected check or money order payment gateway and then you have to click on continue and now you can review the order you can see the product name the price quantity subtotal and you can see shipping and handling and the shipping and handling cost and then you can click on place order button for placing the order and now the order has been placed so just click on this so now you can see the order status as pending you can see shipping address shipping method billing address payment method item ordered and you can see shipping and handling and the product cost so now just go to my order history the seller will go to my order history and you can see view order and the status as pending so you can see so after you have received the payment you can generate the invoice now the invoice has been created so we can click here to see the invoice slip so you can just click on this print invoice to get the pdf of the invoice and you can see the item invoiced and its quantity so i will click here now you can see this information which the seller has added from the manage shipping part so this is the invoice number order number order date this is your shipping address you can see the shipping method and then you can see product sq price quantity tax you can see the sub total what is the shipping and handling cost and what is the grand total now let's go to the shipping slip so again i will go to this order and now you have to just contact your shipping courier service and then from there you can get the order your tracking number for this particular order and then you can just ship this product now the shipment has been created so we will go and check the shipment now you will click on print shipment and we will open it so now you can see shipment slip and you can see the title and the tracking number and the order details so and the other status is complete so this is all about this module if you have any doubt regarding this module you can just raise a support ticket at support@webcool.com